I'm Lauren Roundtree with the SCDOT here at the State Sign Shop. We're going to show you how a sign is made from start to finish. Tim Miller with WIS News 10 in Columbia is here as well. He's doing part of a segment called Tim Travels. So now we're inside the State Sign Shop and come on, let's make some signs, signs everywhere signs. And with me right now is Debbie Van Tim is making his way around the state, reporting on stories and answering questions from viewers. Creating a sign begins here, in the screening station. Ink is printed onto vinyl. Now we'll head over to the drying station. Vinyls with wet ink are placed on this drying rack. Next, the signs are applied to an aluminum backing. Now you're looking at the trimming area. DOT employees are cutting the edges off signs to give them nice rounded edges. Now a barcode has to be applied. The barcodes tell us how long a sign has been on the roadways. This is important because signs are replaced on a 10-year cycle. Let's go over to the specialty sign area. Signs are put together here when the state only needs one or two. They are very specific. Each letter is placed on by hand. The completed signs are placed into bins. Here, they'll wait to be delivered to each county. Orange signs are used for construction. Yellow signs are made for warnings. Red is for restrictions. Brown is for recreation. Here's another interesting part of the sign making process that saves taxpayers money. When a sign is worn out, we send it off to a vendor. They hydroblast the sign sheeting off the aluminum. Then they send it back to us so we can reuse it. If a sign can't be refurbished, it sold as scrap. We caught up with Tim after the tour and asked him what he learned. It's not easy. And what, what amazing to me is the process that actually goes into it and, and how DOT really, and no matter what sign it is, of the 750,000 signs that you all do, each one has its own little special number, mm -hmm. has its own little special place that you know where the sign is. If something happens to the sign, you can re easily replace it. Uh, that's a lot of information just for one sign. So that's an always amazing. That's right, there are 750,000 signs on South Carolina roads, and we replace about a tenth of them every year. Lauren Roundtree, SCDOT.